Hey guys and welcome back to the harsh and unforgiving world of post Fenem. Oh yes indeed we are back again and we're watching the newest village expand here. The uh, the Japanese village these guys have come along. They started off just with these little villages over here but almost immediately have started expanding out. Like this, this is new. I did not see this last time I was here. These guys, hey you having a rest over here? What I'm doing is trying to find myself, oh we've got some children. Children, ew, ew, children. Trying to find some guys that have a few quests on the go, if that is a thing. I'm not sure if the quests are only for... Hello, you look like you're very nearly naked. I'm not sure if the quests are only really about villages and places that have got fully upgraded. So you, you know with the Mayans, they're all like building with stone now. These guys are building with wood. Yeah, none of, nobody seems to have a quest for me so i suppose that is something we're gonna have to leave how about how about you guys ah you fishing frenzy hi guys hi my name is renzo ono fishing is time consuming work and i don't know if i'll be able to meet my quota do you think you could help me okay let's try and do this thank you for the four raw fish should be enough return them to my wife and she will repay you four raw fish okay let's go and do that i'm not sure oh i can't actually hook up to my my teleport anchors from here. There we go. That's a little bit better. Right at the very edge of my... Oh, hey. My teleport zone. That's that's the one we want right there. Do I have a fishing rod? Or more importantly, do I have raw fish? I'm fairly sure I have the fishing rod. That That is a thing that did happen at some point. Yeah, there we go. Okay, brilliant. Uh, let's go and check the freezer because that is where I would put such fish. Oh, he said four, right? There we go. Four fish. Lovely. Lovely. Who needs to go out and do work when you've already done the, the groundwork already? Uh, you gonna let me up? You gonna let me up? Come on, let me up there. Brilliant. Now, who was it? It was this guy over this way. Let's make a very far... Oh, hey. Don't, don't mind me. Don't mind me. It just fell through the roof. No, no problem. No problem. Let's move that dirt out of the way so I can go. Hey, dude. How's it going? No, no. Oh, to the villager. To, to the wife. To the wife. That's what... Hello? Knock, knock. How, how are you doing? Hey, you okay there? Uh, proceed with the quest. Okay, we've got 128 reputation and 4 experience. Wonderful! These fish are, these are fine looking fish. The rest of the village shall be thankful as well. I should hope so as well. Uh, and they sell cooked fish. That's, that's nice. Uh, these are the Ono children. We've got Ayano and Mayu. Yeah, cool, cool. Right, I think these are the only guys that had any quests. Hi, how about you over there? You look like you might have some quests. No, 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 no one, no one around here had any quests. I really thought that guy over there had something underneath his name. Uh, anyway, there is something else I want to do, and we can probably do that from here. Are we looking in the southwards direction? We are. Down at the bottom, we've got the explore quest. Now, you remember the last time we went out and did this uh, pigman spawn, a hostile takeover? From the information you have gathered from the cyborg villages, you have determined there was another pod that fell to Earth just one kilometre south of your crash location. Maybe you can find something useful there. So, let's go and find that, shall we? A task where a player can hand in items of fluid once the quest... Okay, that, that's fine. Whatever. Uh, <clears throat> now, our crash site is actually just up there. So let's go and let's go and get a uh, a coordinate here. We are travelling along the Z coordinate. Yes, 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 we are. Okay, so here we go. We're we're right by. Look at that. I think we might need to put a small pathway in for the Japanese crowd to come up and worship at the uh, at the pod here. But anyway, we are at Z one hundred and seventy. So let's go uh, on our way this way to Z one thousand one hundred and seventy. We're about halfway there, but I thought I'd bring you in to go, look at the rock formation, guys. Isn't this amazing? Let's take that off and put my jetpack on. I've been using this to help me fly around the map a little bit. It's been definitely a little bit of a help. Uh, we've uh, we've covered about three quarters of the distance here, and I'm wondering how far away... Ooh, ooh, we're going to actually have to go. Now, are these guys going to be it? I don't know. We're probably going to just fly up and over. Do we want to try and grab their spawners? I've got I've got my jetpack on, so like escape is not a problem. Look at these guys, filthy filthy natives. Well, what are we gonna do about them? What are we gonna do? I mean, I could just literally sit up here and be happy. Like none of these guys can get me. Hello, dude. You look like you. Uh, oh, oh, oh! I don't have any ammo on me. This is a massive oversight. Oh no, yes I do. Must have been a little bit of a well generation lag there. 
this is something that happens. We, we know this is something that happens. I'm just going to leave that for now. We will try and deal with it on the way back, maybe? Yeah, no, that, that's not working. So the world is generating, and the lag will not be conducive to fighting those guys. The uh, cyborg villages are quite thick around here. We're about a kilometre out. Somewhere around here should be the the uh, pod that we dropped or that someone dropped Uah! and hopefully we'll be able to spot it from a good distance away ah look one of the i've been looking for another one of these i need to go uh hunt that down for the blaze spawners because that's one of the exploration quests but somewhere up here what are we up to 88 percent of our jetpack fuel we should hopefully oh hello extra jumps that I did not put in there there should be a pod around here somewhere we're about far enough away so let's keep an eye out looking around here is possibly a crash zone look at this what what is this yeah here we go this is this is the type of thing we're looking for brilliant okay so how do we get in nice and close without sending ourselves insane let's use some obsidian to maybe pillar our way over if we can nice and full of stuff here uh we don't want to come this side by the looks of what's in the dispenser nothing is in the dispenser i suppose that makes sense it is more a jet nozzle whoa did you see that i'm gonna walk up and over if i can let's try and figure out how to get in this uh that's not the way is this the way do i have to break in is this what i'm being told here do i have no 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 come on just because there's a lot of lava flowing doesn't mean you can sketch out on me. We, we can do this. We can do this. Uh, is that enough? So that's enough to clear stuff out of the way. I've got enough power in my pick to try and go in the side here. Probably not what we wanted to have done, but it's what's going to happen. Into oh, wow. Inside here we have a whole lot of stuff. and it's Logic expansion. Cut. So we're actually here for this. Um, but let's see what we can sneak away in the meantime you know what? i'm gonna throw away the dirt and the carpenters um carpenters wedge i think we can get everything now okay cool that was a quest done but i really really no it's not gonna let me up and through that is it really want to get out of here because wow the temperature is getting unreal so let's stay on top of this and have a moment to read this sensor data hopefully there is actually something in there no there's not okay that's fine we will use this opportunity to check the quest book then sensor data mainly submit that stuff thank you and i think we're gonna pick up a do we want to make the heart or because everything else is kind of workable i mean the basic capacity no we're gonna, we're gonna go with the heart i know crazy crazy but as soon as i eat this you will find out why uh because we are only at four lives. I really, really need that. Okay, do we want to take this opportunity to go in there, or is that just act, acting a little bit foolhardy? I don't have any food, and my camel pack really could do it. Okay, I'm going to travel back. Maybe we will hit some of those villages, though, as they are the ones that look like they could really do me some good. So the lack of food is not a winner here, but we're going to try and get this first one whilst we're here. Mainly because, look, it's super obvious where we need to hit. Uh, I heard something, but we picked up that pick. That's good. Now there should be... Can we shoot him? Yeah, we shot him. That's good. Is, is that also... Ah, get out of here. Oh, no. Okay, well, that was the end of that adventure. I suppose that... Oh, oh, yeah. Let's just fly away from here. Let's just fly away. So that was a little bit of a shambles, but thankfully I've managed to get myself all healed back up. And this time I've got myself a few more things to go adventuring with. The most important ones here, you can see a potion of healing, a little bit of food, bed, water pack. I've just noticed all my uh, equipment is nearly dead, but that doesn't matter. Let's go inside this quest book here. The data you found at the crashed pod site indicates that before it crashed, it scanned some sort of pre-war technology. The map indicates it's only about a one kilometer north and half a kilometer west from your crash site, which counting roughly is where that little dot in the middle of my face is located on my map. So let's go for a little bit of a walk, shall we? I've got Twitch Yongi 5 this time in case we run into anything that's going to need any um well anything that he's got on him any tools any anything like that really i should have put the bed on him that probably would have been a much better way the grass is coming on nicely in the main village and i will see you guys when we've got a little bit closer
Another pig village over there, but I see a block in that wall that I have not seen before. Should we go and have a look? Maybe it'll be time to put a bed down as well. Really not made it that far. I can't get to my map at the moment. I did not want to do that. Thank you. I just tried to cancel the letter that I had typed. Okay, cool. Let's go and have a look. First, let's check the map. You can see we've <laughs> barely made it anywhere. Nice to know that there's a pigman village here. I, I wasn't aware of that. Uh, but yes, this orange block, whatever could it be? It looks like something... I don't know. I don't know. The, the texture looks a little rough. Maybe the same sort of thing as this limestone. Red sandstone from the engineer's toolbox. Let's grab a few bits. Is it going to kill me? This is the first thing because there are some things in this world that really are red sandstone bricks looking good. Yeah, that really are not your friends. Is there nothing else we can do with these things? It's just a decorational block. Okay, well, let's grab a little bit and take it with us, shall we? Is that it? Did I did I overshoot the marker? It might have. I might have. Let's go and see what this is about. I mean, it looks very interesting. Can we teleport over? There is another pod here. Ooh, am I supposed to find this now? I don't know. Let's go and raid it up. Hopefully, Twitch Yongi Five isn't going to do the silly thing of walking in the lava. But I reckon we can just like pop a hole in this roof here. Boom. Awesome. What have we got? We've got another sensor data. Okay, we'll keep that. We're going to push a few of these away. Uh, we'll take that and this. And I think we're just basically going to take everything. Where Where is he? Twitch Yogi 5? Twitch Yogi 5. I need your abilities here. He, he's right there. So I've just noticed I'm walking through a desert. I was like, why am I just getting hotter and hotter? But I suppose that makes sense. Ah, look, we found another nexus of things to be explored. These uh, gas clouds are definitely something I want to uh, figure out how to get in and break. Because obviously there's all those pressure plates and TNT and stuff like that around it. So I'm not sure how we would get in. I just know that it's not going to be through the top this time. That definitely was not a winner. Uh, once again, the world is going to be generating and causing a little bit of lag. So I'm not going to do that on the way out. We'll do that on the way back. We. Oh man, the world gen is lagging. Look at this. Twitch Yongy 5 just refuses to move any further. He won't even look at me. Come on, dude. We, we need to go. Following true. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Oh, look, another one and another gas cloud. Oh, brilliant. These are the sort of things. Where are we? We're in the savannah. So, obviously, like, not obviously, but I postulate that maybe these are biome based as they would spawn in the swamplands back at home. The legends were right. The earth is flat. Now, my marker is about 300 uh, meters away, but this, this looks suspicious. This looks like something I have never encountered before. I kind of want to throw the lever, but that, that just sounds so scary. Let's do it, shall we? Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. We have something down, but look at this place. Twitch Yongi 5 leading without fear. Look at this place. <laughs> Oh, it's amazing. What have we got? Just, oh, loads of stuff and thing. You know, you know what I hate in this world? Radioactivity. Radioactivity really does me in. But look, we've got a, a an old map there, which is what we've been searching for. Did you, did you hear that? What's, what's causing all the death? Well, what is all that death about? It sounds like it might be over this way somewhat. What is over here to cause all that? Uh, I don't know. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. No, it must be stuff underneath. I suppose that's pretty cool. Just had to make sure I wasn't going to die. No, okay, that's fine. Let's get back to the place. That bunker, though, that bunker looks like a place where we really want to spend some time emptying out at some point. We found the old map already, I do believe. Wow, listen to them. They must be just underneath or something. They must be just under... So I don't want to open these <laughs> these chests anymore because the first one did me a whole load of damage. and I, I, I'm really not about that, I've got to say. I'm really not about that. Is that the old map I'm looking for? It says old map. I kind of want to use it, but at the same time, I kind of don't. What is that? That's a printed logic circuit. There, there is some things here. There are a lot of things here. Uh, and I will definitely come and check them out at some point. But I'm here for questings, so questings are what we'll do. Look at this food little area. Oh, it's so cute. Uh, oh, there's actual food here. Do we want to take the actual food? I don't know. Oh, man. It, oh, whoa. Makes me feel a little bit queasy opening those chests. What about round here? Th this place looks like it's... Uh, oh, 
A farm full of weeds. All right. I mean, this 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 is nice. This is like some flavor right here. I absolutely love it. Let's try and see what's going on back here. Oh, man. Oh, man. Will you look at this? Why doesn't my bed look this cool? Man, I want my bed to look this cool. Oh, also a whole load of stuff here. We're going to take the spaghetti and meatballs. Uh, then we'll take the gold, more gold, a couple of rubber plants. I mean, mega rubber rubber sapling. I, I don't know what the mega is all about. Dark steel, block of steel. Uh, we'll take those. Here, Twitch show you five. Do you know what? You can uh, take some of these materials that we've been picking up. An emerald, probably the most uh, useful thing that we've found here. We've got some safari nets as well. What's uh, across the way? It's the only time... Ooh. Oh, now this is some stuff. And there's even a book. Ooh, should we, should we read the book? Let's see what it says. Uh, Hear the snowy mountain under you, Simon. Okay, cool. Thanks for that, Simon. That, that was really, really what I wanted. Now, can we pack more of this in Twitch Zhongyi 5? I hope so, because it's definitely... Uh, okay, let's drop these water bottles, or at least let's use these water bottles. Let's pop the red sandstone in there, gold. Redstone alloy doesn't really go anywhere. I've got two crescent hammers. Will they stack? They will not. If worse comes to the worst, I can throw one of those away. So I've got some space. Let's... Uh, Oh man, can we have a look inside these bits? There, is there stuff inside them? There are not. So let's just try and steal these pieces and see if we can get away with it. Uh, did we drop that? We did. Okay, the real question is, do these stack? Okay, the keyboards do. The screens do. And the computer cases do. Okay, awesome. That that was really good. Anything uh, hidden back here? This is classic Minecraft stuff. No, nothing hidden back there. Uh, well, there we go, guys. This is definitely something that I'm going to come have to come back to at some point. It's night time right now, so I don't think I want to go back outside. Wait, 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 wait. We know how to fix this. We fix it in there. You may not rest now. There are monsters nearby. Well, I'm going to hide here then, at least, while I bust out my book. The book we are going to put... Well, doesn't matter where we put it because we're going to read out of it. One unclaimed quest reward. That's kind of what I want to see uh, down in the explore. This one. We're going to get a whole load of stuff here. And I've got to tell you, I'm probably going to get the vibrant alloy block. But we're not going to claim it now because there's all sorts of stuff. The map you found indicates there should be one of those missile silos exactly 1.5 kilometers due east of where your pod crashed. You better make your way to it and destroy those launch codes. Ooh. Ooh. Is, is there a reason? Ooh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, yes, please. I will take all of these. So there is a missile silo out there somewhere with some launch codes that are probably going to end up launching missiles at me. That that sounds super scary. Super, super scary. Okay, we're going to have to also make some decisions because I want to try and go and raid one of those uh, ghast places. Can I put my bed and sleep here? I can. Awesome. Yeah, I want to go and raid one of those ghast places up. But, of course, I'm completely full of inventory so that, that doesn't really bode well does it i mean these redstone alloys we could probably get a single gold nugget fishing uh, i kind of want to keep the fishing rod out of all of those uh let's do this throw a couple of these glass bottles away they're they're next to useless this sensor data we picked up from nowhere uh the melons are actually kind of useless Okay, here we go. All sorts of things could go wrong here. So I think what we're going to do is come in from the side. We need to watch out for pressure plates and such, but I'm pretty sure if we come in this way, that's not going to be a problem. Okay, it's not. <gasps> oh, no, run away. Run away. Get out of here. Go, 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 go faster than that. <laughs> Whoops. So I saw one of them go. We're going to have to try and have another crack at that. Is, is Twitch Youngy 5 here? I don't know. I don't know. Wow. Lives are starting to run out. But that is why we took the extra life option out from that last quest. Now I'm going to have a lot of distance to travel to get over there. So I'm going to have to go home first and pick up some spare equipment. Well, that was, of course, absolutely ridiculous. I had a sword on me that granted me the power of teleportation. Why I didn't teleport away and make myself safe, I am not overly sure. Oh, well, it would be one of these. Wouldn't it? Okay. I thought it was the other guy that like had super amounts of health. Like, super amounts of health. There are 
dead things down there. Now, obviously, my biggest concern right now is there was a lot of TNT there, and they didn't all get set off at the same time. So if it blew up my uh, my grave, I'm not going to be best pleased. And also, getting down there and getting back is not going to be the easiest. Do I see a grave there? I really am looking out for the grave before I commit to going down. I think we might have to though uh i did not bring a pickaxe because i'm like super clever and stuff so we're gonna have to try and break a few of these things by hand i don't want to go down there whilst i do see some uh cobblestone and stuff that we could use to pillar out i don't think we could actually pillar that far out if the uh if the the, 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 the grave is not there so before I got too far along with breaking that obsidian, I thought it might be a good idea if I made a copy of the world and came in in creative, hence why I'm flying around here. Uh, and I peeled off all the obsidian layer by layer, and you can see, unfortunately, all of my items seem to have gone. Oh, it's a sad times, which means I need to start making my way back home before, uh, before sunset strikes. Okay, this might already be too late in the day but we're going to try and make our way back i assume twitch Yongi 5 has already made it back safe and sound maybe i should have jumped down the hole and grabbed myself a little bit of cobble to make my way back with i could have at least made myself a box to survive for the 10 minutes of night time in but we're just going to walk back i'm just going to have to keep on moving do some dodging hopefully find somewhere safe to hide out the sun goes down we find ourselves back in the cemetery mourning the latest loss of a clone i'm going to use this uh carpenter's stairs and a bit of obsidian and clouds to cover up the grave here uh, gas gas spawners they're, they're they're always going to be our downfall i've already removed the death marker so we don't really have to worry about that in the time lapse you would have just seen i was fighting i put in a pigman spawner underneath the the base in the reactor room now this was not for xp as you would have expected oh no no this is uh for some extra lives because you know i need some extra lives we're gonna grab a, a rifle clip i also managed to kill a whole load of these mechanized skeleton people and the zombie things kept on hassling me so we also did that that gives me a great bounty of lives to eat up before we think about heading off. Now, I have done some little changes to my backpack here. Uh, and we're going to practice this by going up in the air. And I believe we just press space. No. Do we have to double jump? How do I How do I activate this glider power up? Uh, not by opening my inventory. I know that much. Anyway, you will see that... No, it's really not... How do I activate it? I'm not sure how I activate it. Anyway, over there you'll see that I've put myself a little marker down. This is for the quest, the exploratory quest that we've been given. If I come out here and go uh, explore... Down here, we've got the map you have found indicates you should be, uh, there should be one of those missile silos exactly 1.5 kilometers due east. Well, that's where that marker is over there. And on this walk, I'm going to try and figure out how to activate the glider. Enables gliding. That's all it says. I don't think it wants to enable gliding for me. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to go figure out on the wiki how this happens. But I will see you guys once we've got over to that marker. 
I've got a feeling it's trying to distract me. Not only do we have these beautiful pig villages everywhere, there's also a ghast um, spawn back there as well as one of those blaze places. But look, one of those, uh, what do we call them? Bunkers. I also figured out how to get the glide working. It was the G key of, of all things G. Now, look, they've got a little bunker there. But very much the marker is much, much further away. So I think that's what I'm going to go for. And I'm not sure why the glider keeps throwing me out the air. It just drops me for no reason. I was just about to make a little segment going, I think maybe Landstrider put in the details wrong. But no, no, here is a new building that we have never seen before. I was starting to think that maybe this little drop down shaft here was what we were going for. But it really is not. It was this. And the thing that gave it away was when I got to about here. No. Well, it told me that this was a turreted protected area and I should continue only at my own risk that does not look like the way to do that now I, I could just teleport in there we've got a few few lives going spare but i don't really want to like try and waste any lives how bad is this gonna be how bad is this quite bad quite bad okay so that, that's about nine blocks i reckon so let's try and just walk brazenly down yeah well yeah okay we're good uh should we um Dig under. I'm kind of feeling the the dig underneath phase. That might that might work. Now, do we want to go through the obsidian? I don't really, but it's it's what we're going to end up doing anyway. Because you know this pick, super good, super good. Ah, it has covered up my map for me. Oh, I suppose we can kind of see there. This might not. Oh, look, there's like bunker underneath us. This might not have been the way we wanted to go. This might totally circumnavigated a few things that Landstrider put into place. But I wasn't told to go through the front gate or anything silly like that. So we're, we're going to try going this way. I want to go up through the floor of the building in the middle if we can. Uh, we should be getting relatively close to that actually. Uh, somewhere like here in fact. Let's punch a hole through. Oh, hey. Do you guys see him? Well, I fired. I don't know if that did anything. I think we're going to have to wait for the, uh, the internal. Oh. Things have popped back. That That's not very nice. That's not very nice. Now, this is where we were going, was it not? Okay, that's a little bit more interesting. Um, actually, we didn't want to break that block out. If we break that block... Oh, I should have put maybe the cobblestone back. Yeah, if we break that block, we will never get up there. Oh, wow. Let's teleport. Can't teleport there. Okay, fair enough. Uh, lots of loud noises. Let's move in. It seems that they're not going to come up and say hello like this. They will do it like this way, though. That's fine. Someone got me through a gap, but I think we're doing okay. I think we're doing okay. Let me just turn down my game noises a little bit. That's very, very loud. Uh, now, is that a spawner that's causing that? I think it might be. I think it might be. Let's take this block out. Oh, hey. Yeah, I, I know this is a turret-protected area. Can we see the said turrets? Are any of them going to... Oh, look, there's a pressure plate here. What does that do? <laughs> that was a bad idea. I should have known that was a bad idea. Did that kill people? That's a, that's a question. Did that kill all these guys? It didn't, but I think we can probably make our way through and in now. Yeah, there are definitely people spawning. Uh, do I see the spawner down there? I do. Okay, let's break out some, some guns. And let's try and get in here and break all this stuff. Oh no, not like this. It's not going to happen like this. Okay, what are we going to do about this? I don't have an axe on me. This was a major, major oversight. There are pigmen in there and all sorts. Oh, something's got me. I knew there were spawners there. Why did I hang around? I was like, I'm just going to look through this wall and try and see what's going on. And no, it turns out I'm really bad at games. It just turns out I'm really, really bad at games.